Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2012 MSU IAT Charter Day. our 35th year season after many many performances and uh, projects since uh, we were first founded in August 10. Um, we put up EPAG primarily to service the culture and arts need of the community and the nation uh, as a whole. We see the importance of culture and arts as a requisite for nation and people building and as a vehicle for strengthening our cultural integrity. So basically this is uh, how we operate the, and why we operate the impact with the vision of creating venues for uh, creative expression, particularly in the performing arts.
as the chair of the steering working committee of the 44th Charter Day anniversary celebration, I would say that I was deeply honored, but at the same time, uh, pressured of the assignment because it was not an easy one, especially in the coordination of the different working committees. Indeed, uh, it was also a challenge because leading so many people working on uh, different assignments in a major institute activity requires understanding, patience, humility, and a little of aggression. Yet, after the celebrations, when the evaluation reports were rendered by the working committee chairs, I was uh, truly pleased that the week-long anniversary celebration was a huge success and everyone was so happy and uh, satisfied with the various activities participated by the students and employees.
Ricky Hersico, the defender of the budgets of state universities and colleges in the country. Former President, President Manuel Aquino, because I believe he stands for good governance, but there are some policies and programs that I do not agree with, with one of which is the continuous decreasing state subsidy for the SUCs. That's why I've been fighting for this in the past two years already. Publications. I would like to congratulate again MSU system, especially MSU IIT, for always planting the seeds of our development as a nation. Because of your achievements, because you have produced a lot of achievers, a lot of uh, of uh, students who have excelled in their different fields, I'm sure that they will be instrumental in our nation building. So, MSU has been instrumental in, uh, in achieving growth for the next 100 years by producing excellent students, excellent graduates. Okay? Congratulations to the MSU system, congratulations to the students, congratulations to the faculty and staff. Let us assure Dr. Muslim and Dr. Tagol, the faculty and the students, that we will continue to fight for the budget of tertiary education to make sure that our country produces more graduates. And because of this, each graduate per family, I, as I said, is the way of the poverty. Ito ang tunay na paraan para mayangat natin ang atas ng buhay ng bawang Pilipino ay magkaroon ng bawang, ng graduate bawang kami. Again, congratulations MSU. Continue being an instrument of the day of our nation in nation building. Mabuhay! Magandang umaga! Ay! If we add up all these events, literary, sports, cultural, and what may have you, we all boil down to one common goal, and that is to continue to uphold the core values that our institute has taught us, that is integrity, accountability, commitment, excellence, and team. First, I'd like to show that uh, we've done means to go beyond borders, that uh, this but it's a viable vehicle for creative expression in the multimedia. This includes a dance, music, even literature. So uh, we'd like to show all these multimedia expressions, particularly during this 45 years in some So basically, this is a showcase for what we have done and what we still want to do in this.
this 44th anniversary of the founding of MSU IIT, I say thank you to the heads and members of each of these committees and extend a hand of welcome to our returning alumni and friends. The march towards world-class excellence is aided greatly by timely stops where we acknowledge our past achievements and successes, rededicate ourselves to the purpose for which MSU IIT was created. It is my hope that you also find this stop on the occasion of the founding of our beloved institute as energizing as I have to enable us all together to meet the challenges of the future.